Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Oh well, hello beautiful. It's good to see you again. And yes, I mean you, you there in the joggers and the look on your face of a person who's tried to eat a Weetabix without the milk. We have returned again with a roundup of super showbiz news, smashing stories from the internet, and even another serving of the sumptuous spectacular lesson for your life, which we imaginatively call our life lesson. But before we get to that, we say hello to the man who's recently opened up his own nipple tassel museum. It's Lee. Interesting fact. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how your ears grow as you get older? They never stop growing. Yeah, they, I don't know whether it's your head that shrinks and your ears that get bigger, but your ears get bigger. So do your nipples. Do they really? Yeah, I'm having to use twice as much material as I used to do <laughs> my tassels. Do you, do you have enlarged areola eyes? I do, yeah, like oh, dustbin lids. I can imagine. I know. Like, like burgers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got some showbiz news, including a story about a waxwork that's been having a bit of a hard time recently. Oh. And I've got some light-hearted bits from the World Wide Web, including a new challenge that's taking the internet by storm. You can still find us when you can't sleep. Just search for at the Cud TV on your social media sites. Don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to this, just have a little search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast service or watch us on YouTube where you can also subscribe. So, Mike, the corporate kleptocracy of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchains, notwithstanding and ignoring the intraday momentum index of negative interest policy whilst accepting the hyperlocal personalization of the customer retention lifecycle and the metrocratic nature of globalized investment markets, can you tell me, does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? After a year in lockdown, I think my milkshake has curdled. Will cottage cheese do instead? You and cheese should never appear in the same mental image. Brain scrub, please. And while I try to shake that off, let's play the... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's off for a masterclass with the presenter of Gardener's World. He often gives Monty Don a hand in his greenhouse and loves getting down his knees and uses zipper. Ow. He likes nothing more than sticking his finger to open up a hole then filling it with his seed, before taking his hose out and spraying it liberally all over the whole area. He hopes that he'll soon have a sticky willy among the old man's beard, pansies frolicking in the bedding, and tulips under his bush. Oh! So while he's getting all dirty in his shed, it's time to play... Lee, it's your turn this week, so if you could be so kind as to get off your bum and get it in gear over to the area, that would be great, thanks. All Lee has to do is draw the subject generated by our random topic generator. Are you ready there, Sugar Plum? OK. The first one is a film. A film? An old film. An old film? An old, old film. An old, old film. Yes. Oh, OK, right. We're going to mix it with a new film to kind of get the point across. Right, OK. So, oh, there's a man with a with a, a, a snail on his face. So maybe a so very well. This is a very well known um, uh, character from a magical film. Not from porn. No, not that kind of magic. So he's got a wand. Um, is it Harry Potter? So right. So let's stay with Harry. Right. We've got Harry. Harry. We've got Harry. Okay. So there is another word. Oh, he's mucky. He's mucky. Is Harry? Mucky. Oh! Mucky Harry. No. Along the same lines as Mucky. Slightly kinky Harry. No. Think more Think more literal. Scatty Harry. Oh, God. No, it's not Scatty Harry. Um, you know, ooh, Harry, you proper something. Sexy? No, that's not sexy. Perhaps, what about if, if, if you had a magazine there and pictures of ladies? Oh, Dirty Harry. Yes! Oh. I was going to say I have a Harry. The next one mm -hmm. is a group. It's a group. A popular musical group. A musical group. OK, okay. right. We do so well with these normally. We do, yes. Um, yeah, some sort of Batman. No, no, it's not a bat. It's not a bat. Um, 
And they have, so it's wild. This is wild. It's a wild creature. A wild creature. Yes. And it has spots. Okay. Um, um, wild creature that has spots. The, the, it's the creature we want, really want the name of. It's the creature we want the name of. And then, Atomic Kitten. No, but I like where you're going. I can't hear. Yeah. So, creature, wild creature. Well, you cre- can't hear. We have to turn the volume up. <laughs> it can't hear. It can't hear. It can't hear. Creature. Creature can't hear. Yeah. It's a... Uh... Death Leopard? Yes! yes! That's quite... That, yeah, that's good, yeah. yeah, I was just trying to think of a, a wild animal with spots. The next category uh-huh. is an object. It's an object. It's an object. Right. <laughs> It normally is a dildo, so a dildo. No, it's yeah. not. Oh, it's not. You see, I'm trying to work out whether I just go really literal. Okay. Or try and be a bit clever. Go it's you, so I'm going to go literal. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Now remember, if you've got the time, draw the dotted line. <laughs> that, that, that? Yeah. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay. And then... Penis. Yes. But I haven't finished the drawing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so that's the straight thing. In it's a thing. Oh. It's a thing. You draw a picture of a massive and yeah, then it's not. Yeah, that. hold yeah. The, hold, oh. hold on to it. Right, okay, one sec. Hold on to that, hold it's on to like that. The show, but I'll hold on to it. So we've got the word and now oh. we want to be looking at that. This. <laughs> <laughs> is it a ring? It is! Oh. Is that where it goes? Oh. Do they not go there? No. You need to... Do they go there? Yes. You, you have to... Kind of push everything, everything through. Everything through. I'm just so Get innocent. Different sizes, too. Okay. Yeah. But we're going back to films now. Okay. Okay. So... So well. Um, okay, there's some sort of... So another animal. There's another animal. And... Um, <laughs> it looks like an aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shark. No. 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 So this bit is all... This bit is all black. Okay. Okay. Um, and that bit is white. Okay. Okay, so black on the top, white on the bottom. And... It's a, um, some sort of fish thing. Yay. Um, uh, yay, I'm free. Yeah. Um, oh! <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. No, it's not. Like uh, okay. That. I'll go to your level because everyone okay. at home is clearly screaming at the screen and going, it's but Right. All right, okay. Oh, free Willy. Yes, there you go. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not just draw three cocks? <laughs> <laughs> That's just ruined that film for people <laughs> with that. <laughs> okay, this this category again is another group. Okay. Okay. So um Oh, oh, there's, there's um, a look. Um, so they're kind of t-shirt and they usually have things on them. Have things on the t-shirt, okay. And, and lots of uh, piercings. Uh, okay, I think I've got the genre is some sort of grungy, metal kind of idea. Okay, so we're after uh-huh. the- Did so- you just draw jungle pants? <laughs> I, I've drawn bondage pants. Okay. Because okay. they're very fa- they famously wore those. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Is this from the before the year nineteen eighty three? Yeah. Okay. Look with this. So this person is, is oh I'm silly. Oh I'm silly. What is he? What so what is this? The punk rock. Yeah. Yeah. So punk. Oh yeah. I'm silly. Oh you're so oh. Oh, 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 oh. George Michael. It's not in front of a snappy snap, so I haven't drawn that. Okay. So um, So we've got punk. Something oh, punk. Daft punk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is an object. An object. I think to, 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 I think we're just right we're just drawing the contents of your house today. Oh, okay. Um Ball gag. No. Oh, okay. Wrong end. Wrong end. Yeah. 
Um, I think I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. That. Oh, it's a dummy. It could, yeah, but not for your mouth. A dummy, not for my mouth. Yeah. Um. um. I'll, I'll draw a side on view, and then it goes there. You see, I was thinking butt plug, but that's very high for a butt plug. Well, you, yeah, you've got it right. All right, okay. Why is it high for a butt plug? Where, where, where the... Right. Hello. <laughs> he said shut the up again, on with it. Still to come, we have one of our life lessons. And just after the break, we have Lee and the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we chat to the man who's got more sass than ass. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. I've got plenty of junk in my trunk. You have? Mm, it's, it's very spacious. I, I've heard it's very spacious. It's the bodies that are hiding it. Mm. Um, let's do some Showbiz News. Yeah, let's. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a fan of a waxwork? Museum. <laughs> of a waxwork museum? Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, I am. an establishment. <laughs> an establishment. Yes, are you? Wax. Um, I am. Um, however, I did get asked to leave when I, I thought, oh, I could make these into candles. I said about that, the better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, somebody's, some, somebody's waxwork mm -hmm. is having a little bit of trouble over in America. Oh. Who do you think it could be? Michael Jackson. No. No. RuPaul. No. 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 Um, You're not going to guess. No, no, there's no. lots of people. No, yeah. So Donald Trump, his wax figure, is having a bit of trouble over in Why? America. Is it, is it, does it still think it's the president? Um, well, there is that. <laughs> um, but it's had to be removed from, from a wax museum in San Antonio. Okay. Um, we've got to pick, this is what it looked like. Um, right. Um, because people have been punching it. And scratching it. Fair enough. Um, which is a reasonable, <laughs> reasonable, a reasonable thing. reaction. Yeah. Just in case it was actually really him. Um, anyway, that waxwork had more hair than Donald Trump. Well, well, yeah. It's a bizarre thing. Yeah. So it's San Antonio in Texas. It's Louis Two Swords, not Madame Two Swords. Mm -hmm. Louis Two Swords, which is has a bit of a reputation for not being the most Brilliant. look alike -y type. A yeah. Bit yeah. So, so think. they've had to remove it because at the end of every day. They were going to, because I think at the end of the day at the Waxworks, they go around and they kind of like, you know, pull the knickers up, um, wipe them down. <laughs> what kind of brothel is this? confused. <laughs> yeah. um, and you know, like, just brush their hair back into place and make sure nobody's stolen anything. And they noticed that um, <laughs> poor old Who's Trump... stolen Roger Federer's penis? <laughs> <laughs> They're not anatomically correct, Waxworks. They don't give them Why? genitalia. Because people like you go in and kind of rub them all away. Um, <laughs> to a nubbin. Um, <laughs> no, so I steal it. <laughs> you steal it, just break it off. Um, so, yeah, so they kept finding that he like, had been, his nose was like mushed to one side and he had like gouge marks in his face. So, um, they have moved him. Okay. Um, to, 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 they have, apparently they have a talented team of artists who just constantly redo um, waxworks that have kind of. Gone a bit whiffy. Gone a bit, bit whiffy. Bit, bit kind of, yeah, yeah. So he, what they're saying is it's not uncommon for wax figures to be damaged over time as part of the normal wear and tear. What is normal <laughs> wear and tear <laughs> of wax figures? Once again, people breaking off the pieces. Yeah, taking yeah. Them. Patrons' political ideology, ideologies could come into play when they're... <laughs> ideolo <laughs> political ideologies. Uh -huh. That's it. Could come into play when they're face to face with the wax replicas of former presidents. Okay. So yeah, so he's been removed to there. Now over in London, because he's in he's also in Madame Two Swords in London. Okay. They've given him a makeover at Madame Two Swords in London. So because he's no longer a president. I'm so I'm so hoping for a Rocky Horror theme. It's not sadly. Oh. We've what they've done is they they've put him in his golfing wear. So that's a picture of him there. Look at that camel toe. Oh, I thought you said they were anatom anatomically correct. Well, he's quite clearly a massive. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So the original, so so he's kind of like, so in, I don't think we've been battering him in this country. Well, it's not been open, so we can't go. Yeah, I was going to say, I so, think yeah. there's a queue. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the original statue, this is ridiculous, cost $185,000 to make. Okay. And the hair, the hair, the hair, was made out of a combination of human and yak hair. Just like the man himself. Just like the man himself. Yeah. And his eyebrows were made out of squirrel hair. Well, that's a choice. Look at him. Bless him there. Yeah. It's, it's not the fonts. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thought, yeah. I was going to China. It's China's world. <laughs> that's not... A, that's a terrible, terrible... Let's cut that out. That's no, awful. Stated. No, right, OK, right. Let's move on quickly. Um, Theatres are starting to kind of make progress into mm -hmm. opening up again. Yep. Uh, as lockdown is eased and people are having the vaccinations. Mm -hmm. So there has been announced um, a new um, play show in London, in the West End. It's going to be called Death Drop. Ooh. The Dragatha Christie murder mystery. Okay. This is a picture. This is like a flyer of the thing. Right. So it's, it's coming back to the West End um, and it is um, starring RuPaul Drag Race alumni. Okay. So... At present is Courtney Act mm. and Monet Exchange. Okay. Okay. And it's a comedy, and it's a historical comedy, and it's it's everybody in the show is a drag artist. Okay. And um, it's a murder mystery, but kind of drag themed. We've so got. Is it, is it drag queens killing each other? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. So uh, we've got a picture of, of I me. Mean, I think I think in the middle, in blue. Vinegar strokes. Vinegar strokes. I think that's vinegar strokes in okay. the middle. Um, so it's 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 1991, and and some guests gather on Tuck Island. See what they did there uh -huh. um, for a soiree. Um, the tensions rise, and the outrageous guests reveal their suspicions and sordid plans. Oh, okay. Um, one by one, they sashay away until the last nerve-shredding, side-splitting moment. The surviving guests find out who done it. Oh, okay. Does that sound up your alley? No. No. You're not keen on that. I'm not keen on that. I'm, I'm, I like a murder mystery. I like drag queens. You don't like. But the, I, never the two should meet. The, the twi they should not. They should not mix. Oh, okay. It's not a mix I'd like. Oh, okay. It sounds like it could be quite fun. Yeah. The the, the but not with vinegar strokes in it. Do you not like vinegar strokes? No. Not She's fun. quite used to being in theatre because she yeah, she yeah. was in. Um, everyone's talking about Jamie. Mm -hmm. She's been doing quite a, a lot of stuff. On, yeah, on theatre. Just not a massive fan. Just not a massive not fan. A massive fan. Okay. Um, they have said the theatre, though, that it's all based around social distancing. Not the actual stage production. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, but gonna, the audience. We're going to run um, this as a social distance. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so in the theatre, you will be kind of like one person, then a space, and then another person. Oh, I like that. Do you like it? I hate the armrest argument. The, the kind of pushing, shoving. Just, well, yeah, you have to sit down first and just always sit like that so you get some yeah. armrest. And particularly those theatres in London, because they're, they're hundreds of years old, they're quite small. They're, the seating is tiny. quite small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that could, that could be a good thing, a positive thing yeah. about Corona. And it may well be that they stream it, because a lot of stuff has been streamed. Mm -hmm. They've like filmed it and streamed it, and you can watch it from the cur cur courtesy. You can watch it from, from the courtesy, courtesy of your, your own, own living home. room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, that's a positive thing to look forward to. Seamlessly onto some more drag... Queen-related uh, showbiz news. Mm -hmm. um, RuPaul is going for complete world domination. We've talked about this in the past. We've got musical shows. We've got makeover yeah. shows. Mm -hmm. We've got chat shows. Yeah. Sells things on QVC. Does she? Mm -hmm. What does she sell on QVC? I don't know. I don't watch QVC. <laughs> I think Often. it's makeup. Makeup. I think selling makeup or Panty something. Pads. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she? Pan tucking pants. Tucking pants. Tucking pants, not panty pads. Not oh, panty pads. I mean, she's reached that age, as we all have, where, where our bladders aren't as strong we, as they we, used we, to be. We can't say whether RuPaul is or isn't incontinent. We're not no, sure. But no. But when you laugh, sometimes a little bit trickles out. Yeah, anyway, I'm, let's... I'm okay with laughing. <laughs> Are you? Well, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. You laugh a lot during this show. I do. It's sopping this floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing mushrooms. Anyway. <laughs> RuPaul yeah. is releasing, well, she, she, not herself, is releasing. She's not doing it herself. <laughs> She's not releasing sending herself. Sending them out. Sorry, um, please finish that sentence quickly. There is going to be a, dr uh, um, a drag race computer game. A computer game. Yes. Right. Um, so it's called RuPaul's Drag Race, the mobile game. Because it's on your phone. Okay. 
And um, what you'll be able to do yeah. is recreate iconic moments from all the series. Okay. Uh, with with your favourite queens, um, and um, kind of do make them over and stuff, mm -hmm. and kind of have you know like things. Just do things. Just do things. Just do things. Do things. Um, so it's things. not out yet. It's coming out later this year. If you want to kind of like get a bit more information, you've got to, to sign up to the website to kind of see a little bit more okay. about what it goes. But it's not the first time that... I don't realise it, but it's not the first time that she's had a, a computer game out. Oh, a couple yeah. of years ago, it, there was a, a computer game called Drag Race Dragopolis. Yes. Dragop Dragop I, I Dragopolis. Drag Dragopolis. Dragopolis. I'm having a stroke. Dragopolis. Well, do you want to stop and do the show? <laughs> Dragopolis. I can't say it. Anyway, Drag you said it right. Opolis, so yeah. that was when an evil queen named, oh, I'm not even going to try and say it, Apocalyptic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Apocalyptic steals RuPaul's hunky pit crew. Yes. And then you've got, you sound like you know about yeah, this. I used to play it. Did you used to play it? Oh. Was it good? No. It no. Awful. Was it awful? Oh, okay. Well, we there is a, we have a picture of it. Of I think we've got a picture of. So that's that's Dragopolis. Uh huh. Well done, Lee. And then you can see kind of like the queens at the bottom. So yeah, I I'm not a computer game player. So it, say it's not not on a computer. It's on your phone. But uh -huh. computers are tiny. No, computers are not tiny phones. Computers phones, are tiny phones. Phones are <laughs> tiny computers. Okay. Yeah. You're talking to somebody who, the last time he played on a computer game, it was like an, a, a Sega Mega X Drive thing that was clad in wood that you had to kind of like plug it into the entire electrical system of your, your neighbourhood. Right. Yeah. Choices. Okay, that, that's the end of the showbiz news for this week. Well, thank you, Lee. It's always good to know that Donald Trump is alive and well in wax form in a cupboard somewhere. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Good. And now it's time to go over to the man who's had his loving oven industrially cleaned, ready for June the 21st. It's Mike in the buzz. That's been cleaned all the way through lockdown. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't wait, I'm not waiting for it to be clean, just keeping it clean and fresh, just in case. Just in case, was it echoing? It always, oh, always echoing. You need to bake something in there, don't you? Well, you could say baking it, yeah. Um, but let's talk about what I've seen on the internet, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start with something quite lovely. Oh. After you're insinuating that my backside is gaping. Um, <laughs> and that's just... Your words, not mine. A nice little story that's come over from Venice. Oh, I've been to Venice. Have you been to Venice? Mm. Recently? A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Mm. What, what did you think of it? It was very nice. Very nice. Did very you go on a boat? Very watery. Very watery. It's famous for the canals. by water. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, yeah, I liked it. Yeah. We go on a gondola. No, very expensive. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. I just looked at them. Did you have a cornetto? Um, no. I oh. had proper, proper um, gelato. Gelato? Gelato. Oh, okay. yes, All fancy with your ice creams. <laughs> 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 um, well... News has come out about two dolphins that have been spotted frolicking in the Grand Canals of Venice. Is that a euphemism? No, it's actually it's two, a, a two, genuine two thing. Flippers. Uh, uh. <laughs> are they gay dolphins? Yeah, they are very gay dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's lovely. Is, is it because it's cleaner? It's not because it's cleaner, it's because there's less people on boats and things going through oh, it. So it's quieter. It's quieter. And they don't like rush hour traffic to dolphins. No. They're renowned for, for doing their early morning drives. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a nice story. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. There's, there's no punchline with penises. No, I'm there's just no, waiting yeah, for that. I can see it in your face going, Each. right, and who fisted what, them? And... <laughs> we, know what a we know what a whale's dingling is called. Uh -huh. Do dolphins have a specific name for their dinglings? Um, love rod. I don't... Love rod? Yeah, a dolphin okay. has a love rod. A love rod, okay. Yeah, was, yeah darling, fancy you got me love rod. Sexy. Sexy, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Have you ever had a day where you just didn't want to go into work? Oh, every day. Every day. Including no, today. I was going to say, normally when you say we're doing recording today, Lee, you go, oh. Oh, I'm not well. Yeah, my foot's fallen off. Yeah, gangrene. Yeah. Gangrene. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, there are different ways you can get off from being in work. From being in work. Okay. Not get off. 
<laughs> in work. <laughs> well, Mike. Well, today you. Everyone, um, oh, anybody who you're working with now is going, oh, wow, that's why he keeps going in the stationary cupboard. Why is every, <laughs> why are all the pens covered in slime? What's going on? Now it's clear. <laughs> pens. Yeah, in the stationery cupboard. <laughs> no, I get where you keep pens. I can't think of anything else that's in the stationery cupboard. I hate staplers. Staplers. Hole punch. Hole punches. Yeah. Um, files. Anything, really. Yeah, a box file. Any, yeah, a box yeah. file, yeah. Spring yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a spring box file. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, this is a story about a gentleman who has been jailed Ooh. for faking his own death so oh. he didn't have to go into work. We've all been there. We've all been there. Um, but Matiz... Kaminski from Poland has been jailed after messaging his boss to say that he was being held against his will, um, spiking a huge police investigation. I like it. You like it? <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> you think that's a plan? I think you know if you're gonna if you're gonna have a day off, mm -hmm. think of something. Go big or go home. Yeah, so just yeah. go for go for the most outlandish thing ever. I've been abducted by aliens. I can't come in because my bum's really sore from where they probed me. Um, yeah, that kind of well, stuff. I, I, I could have days off work all the time then. Well, yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. You could work from home. That could be your <laughs> reason to work from home on a rubber ring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on a rubber. If I was working from home, I could just lie on my front on my laptop. Yeah, probably. you could. Yeah. yeah You've not yeah, thought this yeah. through. No. So, so, he, he phoned, so he phoned his boss to say, I can't come in the website. I've been kidnapped. Yeah. But I'll be back tomorrow, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Please don't call the police. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he lives in Wiltshire now. He lives in Wiltshire now? He lives in Wiltshire. Yeah, so Is that where they Poland. left him when they threw him out of the boot of the car? He wasn't actually <laughs> he wasn't kidnapped. Actually kidnapped. Right, okay. That's the, right, right. He wasn't actually kidnapped. Right, okay. Right. He just, he just he said he was. To work. Yeah. So he went to prison for that? Went to prison for that. Oh, how Did long? Did time. Did time? How Did long bird. for? You don't know, do you? I do. It's just I've <laughs> 16 months. Oh, wow. That's quite a long time, isn't exactly. it? And the good news is he didn't have to go to work for that entire 16 months. <laughs> so it well, really worked well for him. Well, they did with a laptop so he could do stuff when he was in his cell. Work. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not like prison porn. Prison porn. <laughs> it's like setting up an OnlyFans. Shall we move on? Come in in my cell. That kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna move on. Yeah, come on. Let's... To a new internet. Yeah. Woo. To an internet craze and challenge that's just really taken off. Oh, is there another one? So we've had the cinnamon challenge. The what? Cinnamon challenge. Oh, right, okay. Have you not heard about the cinnamon challenge? I didn't catch what you said. You said oh. it so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cinnamon challenge. Oh, sorry. The cinnamon challenge. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that one. You had to eat a tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, um, without coughing and spluttering it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. The ice bucket challenge. Yes. Yeah. Lots of lots of challenges. Planking. Planking. Yes. I would miss heard that when I first <laughs> heard it. I was asked to stop. Um, but a new one has come out um, thanks to Davy Wavy on YouTube, which is the is it a real d or a dildo challenge? Oh my goodness! And what what happens here is his boyfriend behind him inserts things into his his bottom. Posterior. His posterior into mm. his love hole. Loving oven. Loving oven, right? <laughs> and David has to decide whether it's a real penis or, in fact, a dildo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And that, that challenge is basically, it's just a way of them. Is having, it just them that are just doing, them it? That's doing it? Nobody yeah. else is doing it. I'm liking the way that they've gone to the effort of creating a really nice kind of screen <laughs> yeah, out she, of like material yeah. and stuff. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, just so that you can't tell. No, What's going on? no, yeah, no, and it's on YouTube as well. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it? In a, is it? Um, is it? Have you got? To, have you got to log in to watch it because it's adult content? Oh no, okay. No, because you don't see the actual insertion. It doesn't. It's not like go look what. Oh, well, yeah. Because that would be on Pornhub or something. Yeah. Do they? Does he hold up a thing to the camera just, before just inserting it? What's it? What's he putting in? Oh right, and he just goes yeah. ooh. The <laughs> Yes, he does just go, oh. oh. There's actually very little reaction from him. Oh. Well, that says a lot, though. It says it? a lot, especially yeah. when he goes, no, that's actually my penis. And he's there going, oh, oh. okay. Oh. Yeah. oh, I thought it was a pipe cleaner. That yeah. would be. Is that a Q tip? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Q tip. <laughs> well, they're American. Oh. Have you just driven a four ton truck up my ass?
That kind of stuff. And if you want to drive your four-tonner ugly, why not share a pic with us? Just look for At The Could TV on your usual social media platforms. And that brings us quite nicely to the story of the week. Now, you've been vaccinated, haven't you, Lee? Half. Half vaccinated. I've had the first one. Oh, you've had your first one? Yes. Oh, OK. Um, I'm still waiting for mine. Because oh. I'm much younger than you. You are. Yeah, yes. much, much younger. Yeah. Yes. Um, but the side effects to the vaccine, isn't there? Potential there are, side yes. Yeah. What side effects did you have? Um, well, I had a bit of a sore arm. Mm. Um, and Was it your ranking arm? <laughs> where they injected it, I had a really sore arm. OK. And, Didn't um, answer my question, but OK. Yeah, um, and when I woke up the uh, next morning, um, my testicles had, had, had doubled in size. Oh, wow. Well. So there was a bonus to that. Yeah, yeah. Just hopped my way to work. <laughs> like a space hopper. Like offer. a space hopper, yeah. <laughs> That'd be painful. Um, <laughs> well, one side effect that a gentleman has had, right, is that the COVID vaccine has made him bonk the toaster. What? Yes. Um, and this is a story about a 54-year-old who decided, I'm going to have it away with the, the toaster. He's going to have his way with the toaster? Mm-hmm. OK. After the vaccine, saying the vaccine did it. The vaccine forced him to do it? The vaccine forced him to do it. OK. Was it, yeah. Was it nice? Um, well, no, he didn't enjoy it. Did he not? No. Did Neighbours he burn heard... his bell end? <laughs> Neighbours heard frenzied yelps coming from Eric Foster's house. Oh. So looked through his kitchen window to find him with the toaster attached to his penis. Oh. <laughs> yes. Was it plugged in? It was. It had been plugged in. It was not cold. Oh. Wrong setting, yeah. was it? He huh? only wanted a light bronze. <laughs> he put it on six. Full on toasty he wa brown. He wanted three and he put it on six. Oh, dear. Just, yeah. Um, but yeah, he was, he was full, full on in. It wasn't just the tip. Full on shaft. It was the full in. Full on shaft to the bottom. Well, you know, that's a <laughs> that's a that's a nasty side effect. That's a nasty side effect, yeah. It is, isn't Not it? one that you experienced though. I didn't experience that, no. No. Not no. in the fridge. No. No, but I did fuck the, the Hoover. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But I do that anyway. I was gonna so. say yours is a Henry though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lots of I don't like it looking there. at me, I have to turn it round. <laughs> you have to turn it round. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you're sat in reverse cowboy on a Henry Hoover. Yeah, yeah. But I just do that for pleasure. The COVID didn't make me do that. Okay. Um, so and that's all I have from the buzz this week. Um, just let me just... Um... <laughs> Can I go home, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently I'm just as twisted as you are. Oh, well, thanks, Mike. I think we need to put the number up of the advice line for, for household utensils that have been sexually abused. That, I think that would be really helpful for, for people. Anyway, there you go. Does that exist? Does now. <laughs> <laughs> You've just invented something, yeah. just yeah. in case. Yeah. Stay tuned, because after this comes our life lesson. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for the part of the show that one critic called... The most fun you can have on your own. Well, he's never clearly had a in the shower. It's time for... Life Lessons. Do you use soap? Yeah, yeah, I like a bit of a soap. Do you? Mm. It's better to have hope in your soul than soap in your hole. Well, so I've been told. Mm, not mm. true. Is it not true? No. Oh, okay. So we're going to get our we're going to get our craft on again today. Oh, yay! I know. Um, I know. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to do a bit. of... So if you if you would like to look at my breast there again, my right breast uh -huh. uh, adorned on my right breast. Look at that! Look at that fantastic work of art. Yes. Yeah. Certainly. And yeah, I bet you're going, Lee. Where can I get one of those from? I, I am indeed not thinking that. Yeah. You are indeed. Yeah. We can't. They're not available in the shops, as they say. I'm surprised by that. Um, I made. I did make it my very self. Oh. Yeah. So we're going to have a go at showing you how to make that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a so we're going to. Yeah, we're going to do some salt dough. Oh. <clears throat> did you ever do this when you were a child? No. No. We had play dough. You had Play-Doh. Play you see, well, that is Play-Doh is very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. So for for parents that really cared about their children, mm -hmm. um, they made it for them. Oh. Yeah. So we're, we are going to make our own salt dough. 
Okay. To create a uh, fashion a breast badge. <laughs> a breast badge. <laughs> For whatever. So in front of you, you have a bowl of flour, uh -huh. flour if flour. you're Nadine Coyle. I have flour. Um, and um, some salt. Some salt. I, some salt. I, I brought sea salt. Sea salt. I've just got table salt. Oh. Ordinary table salt. So you want to pour your salt uh -huh. into your flour. Okay. How much do I put in? All of it. All of it? All yeah. of this? Yeah. That's a lot of salt, Lee. Yeah, well, that's the next For me bit. to grind. Salt dog, yeah. <laughs> does, it, does it not have... Can you not take the top off? See, now that, see there's the cockiness gone. Huh? From, your, from your sea salt. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I, I'm bored of that now. You're bored of that now? That'll do. Okay. I'm like, going to eat it, is it? Please do not eat this. It should be very, very poorly. Very poorly. Um, so, well, you've, you've got your salt inside your flour. I have. And then you're going to add a little bit of water. A little bit of water. Yeah, it's just plain little bit of water. Right, Not okay. all of it, because you don't know. Okay, just a little bit of water. Just pour a little bit. No, no, don't be stupid. Do it. Do it, pour it a little pour bit. It. Yeah, a bit at a time. Okay. And get your knife. Yeah. That you that you have, and you're gonna kind of just chop it. You chop, choppy chop, choppy chop. So it starts to come together to look a little bit like breadcrumbs. And um, you may need to keep adding water okay. to, to get the consistency of dough. It's so like bread dough. dough. Bread dough? Yeah. See, I do like baking, so that's all right. I can do that. Do you? This is a very, an, uh, this is a very old, traditional... Craft. Way of mixing stuff together, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You might, at one point, have to get your fingers in there. I think I've reached the point where I need you want, to... You want me to knead it? Yeah. To it together. So it combines together uh -huh. in uh, into a dough. Oh, that was very quick. I, saw, I told you I can bake. Okay, mine's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to put some more water in mine. Have you put all your water in yours? No, I've not no. put more. I've still got some water no. left. Um, so while I'm making in a complete dog <laughs> of mine, just just need, just generally need your dough. Need it. Because I don't think mine's going to work. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with yours? That. You've put too much water in, haven't you? <laughs> I'm hoping there's enough dry stuff at the bottom. Uh-huh. You're hoping it's dry at the bottom? Yeah. To, um... Oh. <laughs> and then what you do is, <laughs> yeah. you just splat that on top of, on top of your... And there you go. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> to be fair, I thought I had a bit of a disaster then, but no, I'm gonna mo I'm gonna roll it. Okay. Okay. So um, you will need to separate it into three separate balls, mm -hmm. but but have them on the desk. <laughs> testing, testing Daddy's patience. You said I wasn't allowed to call you Daddy. <laughs> just just ordinary ordinary coloured now, just plain. Yeah. So we're going to turn it into to, to colours. Okay. So um, I'm going to put my bowl over there. So, yeah, if you split it into three... Yeah. We have some um, colours. Uh-huh. Stick your pinky... Yeah. ..in the stinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you've got a selection of um, food colourings. Uh-huh. So in your little little divot. Yeah. Um, squirt a little bit of, not a lot, a little bit of colour. You can always add more, Mike. You can always add more, but you can't always, take it away. Can't take it away, but you can always add more. Um, and then, so, you... Oh, the little donuts. Um, oh, yeah. Then what you do is you kind of knead them mm -hmm. together. Oh, look at that. Um, till it becomes that colour. Okay. That you want it to be. <laughs> Okay, right, so you miss the colours of it, is it, does it, is it, you, yeah, is it of your desired consistency? Your I have got my desired hues. Hues, okay. Right, so, really, you know, it's up to you what you do. Okay. You can create a way. Create, create a way. Create, create a way, whatever, whatever take, tickles your fancy. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. I am going to be very adventurous, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make a plat. So, yeah. Um, okay. Shall I tell you a rather unpleasant story about salt dough? Yeah, that's, that's okay. it. Hear your embarrassing story about salt dough. Yeah. Um, it's not embarrassing for me. Oh, okay. I didn't do anything. So, many, many lifetimes ago, uh -huh. when, I, when I was a 
a different professional person. When you were uh, a professional person. Well, yeah. When I wasn't wasn't the professionally trained televisual presenter that I am now. Yeah. Um, I worked with um, children, not just just ordinary children, sick children. Oh. Poorly sick. Poorly sick children, and um, obviously because it's it was a hospital. Was um, it a hospital? A hospital. We didn't okay. really have very much money to buy things with. Um, Are so you saying that the NHS was unfunded? Completely There's a surprise. Unfunded, yeah. Um, so we used to make salt dough for the mm. children to play with. Okay. Okay. And you can usually store it for a couple of weeks in an airtight container in um, in a fr refrigerator. Okay. So yeah, we did that. We made. We made um, we made some lovely play dough, uh -huh. and the kids had played with it. And then we thought, right, we'll put it in the container because this was kind of before the invention Television. of penicillin. Yeah. <laughs> so we could get away with doing things like that. Now we wouldn't be allowed to do it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we put it, and then what, so we'd left it in the fridge for a couple of weeks. And uh -huh. one morning I said, oh, do you know what? What should we do? So, Let's get the play dough out. It's in the fridge, ready. Oh, wonderful. Went to get the play dough, opened mm -hmm. it out. Do you know what was inside it, Mike? A mouse. No. Bum worms. Bum worms? Bum worms. Thread worms. Thread worms? Yes. How did you get thread worms in salt dough? Well, so one of the children <laughs> uh -huh. who had been playing with it yeah. had obviously had thread worms themselves. Right. A child had obviously been playing with Play Doh mm -hmm. and had deposited some eggs. I don't think willingly, I don't think they'd like crouched over there <laughs> and laid them. <laughs> But in the, under their fingernails. Okay. And um, because dough is edible and apparently it heated up a little bit, mm -hmm. they had um, hatched ah. and become, become threadworms. Cool. So, yeah, I have rolled mine out yeah. into um, three strands. I'm going to plait them. Right, so you go let that one. Oh. That one. Oh, what, I'm going to plait them, are you? Yeah. That it's one. going to be a very heavy brooch that you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, I might, it might be a belt. <laughs> now, when you... So you have to cook these. You have to bake them in the oven. Have to bake them in the oven. In your loving oven. Okay. Um, for a couple of hours at a very low temperature. Okay. Yeah. Is that so they don't rise? Yeah, because they, they won't rise because it's not so it's not raising flour. Don't use plain flour. Don't use raising flour. Okay. And um, when it's coming out of the oven, let it dry. Mm -hmm. Let it dry, and then you can varnish it, and then you can stick it on your. So shall I hold up what I have made? Yeah. <laughs> Tribute to Threadworms. I have made a lovely brooch. Oh, that is hideous That's thing a I've ever seen. It looks like an egg. It looks like a rancid egg that you've cracked into a pan. But, you see, I did make this earlier. Would you like to see a picture of one that I'd made earlier? Oh, please, Mike. Exact same way. <gasps> that is magnificent. Exact same method. It is, the same. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what it looks like before as well. I find well. it very hard to believe, but... Because that's what it looks like before. Yeah. And yeah. then we have an after. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, viewers, if you do this at home, please just go to a jewellery shop and buy your own. Yeah, please explain why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show. Just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Just look for The Could TV, and for our website, it's thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at the support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.